What is going on YouTube? Y'all know what today is. Sunday, the day for how to make MT with most. And honestly, this week wasn't that great. There was not that many locker codes. This is one of them. I put it on the screen right now. So usually we show you guys what you should have done to be able to get as much MT as possible. This week, I actually had to make my MT in two different ways. I'm going to show you one way that you guys may be forgetting and it's not going to work for a lot of you. And then for the people that it will work for, some of you already probably know this or have done it before. But hopefully this is helpful and I have some tips to show you how to do stuff easier. Shout out to Jan for actually showing me this, but let's do this ball drop real quick. There was two throwback packs that came out this week. This one, which is the Warriors and the Rockets, and I got 750 in this one. The other one was the Celtics and the Lakers, and I actually got 300 MT for that one. So that was atrocious, both of them. I also want to say that Triple Threat Online has been giving me so much MT lately. I've been getting boards with 750s, with 1,000, with 500s, a lot of 300s, 200s. We've been getting a lot of packs. I opened most of them the other day. Got some diamonds and stuff. Nothing good from any of them. I've gotten some good badges this week. I know some people have been getting these packs and getting some good luck, like silver players and stuff like that. So shout out to you guys. I want to see what you guys be getting. Let me know what your best pull this week has been. So sometime this week, I was absolutely broke when I was going for JR. Like I literally had zero MT kind of thing. Like I think I had like 10. So on stream, I started selling my shoes, right? There's a lot of shoes. I open a lot of packs. So I have a lot of shoes. I quick sell almost all of them unless they have a plus three or plus five, plus two, anything with a three point shoe. And then this is where I messed up on stream. I was talking to my stream and I literally went this, this, and I quick sold a diamond shoe. Thankfully, it didn't go for like more than 10k, but still, that's 9k I basically lost out on. And there's actually an easy way to do this. And there's so many shoes. I've sold a lot of them. I've, I've probably had like so many shoes, right? But a good way to do this that Jan taught us is if you go all the way down to your search, I actually did not know this was here, but you can pick what card type. So you could search by player, by coach. So I could literally go coaches search all and you see how it's gonna show me like this there's two pages of coaches but what i could actually do is i could do gold coaches and it's only gonna show all the gold coaches there's no second page no third page nothing like that if i click sapphire it'll show me all the sapphire coaches it doesn't matter if they're east west none of that if you do badges all it'll show you all the badges on one page which is really really cool and then like there's gonna be other pages right so you don't have to keep searching through so the cool thing about this for real is that you could do this with shoes so for the shoes you could actually see what attributes it adds which is pretty dope so you could do like outside scoring and then like add whatever you want to do like open shot three this would be helpful if you're like trying to add a shoe but right now i'm trying to quick sell so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go bronze shoes and i only have one more bronze shoe left it works when i go silver we're gonna do silver shoes and we're gonna see there's a lot of silver shoes right i don't have to keep scrolling through pages i don't have to worry about selling my diamonds and I could just sit here and quick sell, quick sell. It'll refresh from the page behind it. They'll all come up. Like I said, all shoes don't go for too much. I know there's some people that try to sell every shoe because people do buy shoes. Uh, shoes work pretty well if you're trying to play like 12 and 0 games and you're like you're really stressing it I could see you trying to do that if you're playing a friend on play with friends shoes don't actually get used So some people like try to throw shoes on players then and I know that works out But like this is a plus three open shot three So I'm not gonna use that. Maybe I'll try to sell that I know it goes for like maybe 1k or 2k another open shot three another open shot three We'll, we'll save those we'll try to save the open shot three shoes and this is just so much faster And you can see how much empty we're getting Getting from just doing this honestly and then sometimes when I'm looking for my diamond shoes I don't want to sit here and like look for each one individually so this actually helps out it's a great method that will basically speed up the process you could just do diamonds see what shoes you have and basically be able to sell off that I'm also gonna show you how to check prices of the diamond shoes you already have because I know that's really really hard and I've been finding ways to do it a little easier so before you throw them in your auction house we're gonna take a look on how we do that maybe I'll fast forward a little bit we already made easily like 50k quick selling shoes this week including the diamond that i sold i sold a couple of diamonds like i had a bunch of converse i sold for like 4k i had some nikes that i sold for like 9 10k 
Yeah, I'm gonna save a couple of like every shoe for sure. But look, so these are the diamonds that I'm talking to you guys. I have like two left right now. I quick sold one. I sold a couple this week. My KDs actually didn't sell as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna send them to my auctions because I don't know how much they go for. So I'm gonna add to my collection for an easier purpose. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into here. We're gonna go into shoe cards. We're gonna go into diamonds. And I know that that was a pair of Nikes. I'm gonna start off really low. I don't know their price at all. I'm gonna assume I don't know the price at all. And I'm gonna scroll up a little bit to like 9k. This works when you know the shoe isn't that expensive, right? Like I knew this shoe wasn't that expensive. I see here it's 8k, 9k, 10k around that price. I know that. So I see some for nine that haven't sold yet. I see one for 8.9 that didn't sell yet. So I'm gonna put mine up for 8.9 as well. A little lower, so mine should sell before it. Now I'm gonna do with the Jordans. I'm gonna do the same thing. I know Jordans go for a little less. So this only works with like the cheap shoes for sure. Some of the more expensive shoes are gonna go for a lot more. So you're gonna have to scroll through a little more than that. There we go. We finally found the Air Jordan 3s. They're 8.5K. And honestly, I would have had to scroll for a while. There's only one that I see there. So maybe they go for a little more. Since I saw so the cheapest is 8.5 let me actually try to limit the shoes i'm looking at so let's limit the buyout to 8.5 and let's raise this up this isn't always gonna work but it is gonna limit what i'm looking at for the most part because technically some people could put the current bid way lower so you won't see one that has like a 500 but you'll still be looking at the same buyout so we see one that's 10k right here for two hours and basically this is how i would look up shoes and see how much they're going for this is a 9.5 one 10k 9.4 8.5 is the one we saw so i really hate that you can't like look up the shoe you really want that kind of really bothers me a lot of the time so you kind of have to like play around with numbers like i showed you guys here because if you're just going through all diamond shoes there is a lot you could see here that i'm pretty much looking through all whole bunch of shoes that are only jordans that are going for certain prices and then for the nike shoes um you can't actually go more than 20k so what you would do is just put the buyout at 20 these would only show you mostly the three point shoes some people are gonna chuck up other shoes but this would only mostly show you the expensive shoes and you could scroll through that way obviously some of these lebron's kitties shouldn't be going for that much some people just like doing that you see the phones right here for 65 and this would speed up your way to basically go all the way to the end and hope to snipe a card so yeah i actually don't know why there's so many shoes up right now there's like i could sit here and scroll forever and ever and ever but the closer you get to the four hour mark is where you can be able to snipe shoes let's quickly show you guys the best way to make mt this week which was the moments challenge moments challenge they had four of them you were supposed to get 2.5k for each for four minute quarters but when you beat all of them they did say you would get 10k mt so let me know if you guys beat all of them got the 10k for doing them all and then the 10k extra so that would have been 20k for doing work that was like less than two hours besides that let's talk about the most effective method to actually make mt this week which was when packs came out these earned jerseys were huge a lot of people were buying earned jerseys you get 20 tokens for locking them in i bought all of them to get jr smith and i didn't want to lock them in i don't need the tokens i know the prices are going to eventually drop as more packs come out more people have earned jerseys more people don't need them anymore so I sold my Heat one, that sold for 10k, and I sold my Rockets one, which was also about 10k, it was like 9. Some of these other ones go for a little more, like I sniped an earned Spurs jersey for like 2k, I sold it for like 6. Some of these go for a lot, make sure you're checking out these for sure. Other jerseys don't really go for a lot, none of these jerseys really go for that much. The only ones I would say really do are the cities, some of them, not all of them, some of the cities are still expensive. The earns for sure, and then some of the statements I would say are expensive. When packs came out, the Bucks playbook dropped in price a lot. It actually went back up from what I was told, so let's double check that. As I always tell you guys, you could sell stuff that aren't that expensive like these aren't expensive right some people don't know that they're expensive at all because if you quick sell this that's like 70 mt so a normal dude would not know that and like that that they sell for something and he just throw this up for like 1k 2k and i guess there's so many bucks playbooks but there's 7k and i know i sold one for 10 they were like at 5k i'd say when packs were out so if you would have bought one, you can sell it for 7 now. I think they will go back up to 10. This is the best playbook in the game. Yesterday, I was in Zach, the traveling gamer, TTG, if you guys know who that is. I was in his tournament. We were streaming the games. I'm in his tournament again today. So if you guys want to watch that and stuff like that, and you want me to show you guys some of these plays, I'm not good at them, but I lost to someone running plays yesterday. So if you guys want a video on the best playbooks, how to run plays, how to run certain plays and stuff like that, let me know. Also, if you don't follow me on Twitch, I really don't know what to tell you because I stream every single day at most balling. Diamond coaches are still going for over 10K. 
so well at least 10k so if you can snipe these during the packs are out sometimes you'll find some for 5k stuff like that even then tony and casey are still going for 10k besides that we had chinese new year packs this week nothing really was selling for a lot all these cards were really really cheap josh smith was the only card that's like kind of buy now that was worth it in my opinion marbury was extremely cheap marbury's price might go up he is a small point guard though he's 6'3 so probably not but I think this Josh Smith is going to turn out to be like a Scottie Pippen, Andre Iguodala, the cards that go back up to 100k. He has Hall of Fame defensive stopper, Hall of Fame posterizer. He has really good badges. You can probably badge him out and make him really, really effective. I wouldn't do that just because I don't have a diamond contract on him. But you had the T-Mac that's now going for 300k, 360, 350. He was going for over 400 before. I know some people were able to snipe cards like this. Like sniping is hard. I'm not good at it. I choose not to. That's why we try to make our MT through the little stuff. And yeah, honestly, that would be all for today, guys. We had some new throwbacks. Um, So you guys know we had some new throwback elites. When throwbacks come out, sometimes they drop us elites. We had the Cal Corver who actually is going for a lot. But like I showed you guys before in the bid video, I think this card is going for 60k. That's how much it was going for yesterday when I got off. But like, look at this. You see this one's going for 32. I could probably bid on this. My chance on this one isn't that high. But if I bid on this one where people only see the 100k or a lot of people are only going to see 100k, I could maybe bid 40k and win this and then resell it. So let me actually double check to see how much this card is going for i see 58 and then i'll bid on that one to maybe hopefully win it so like a card like this i wouldn't really need it on my team i would only buy it to sell it again right especially that i know maybe his price will eventually drop he's 53k the cheapest i see 53k i don't see anything cheaper so i gotta calculate if i sell a card for 53k i would probably put it up for maybe 50 to sell asap so let's assume the cheapest I could put it up for 50k. After tax, I would only get 45. So I gotta remember that. That's one thing I gotta remember as a buyer. 45k is what I would be making. So now how much profit am I willing to make? Honestly, the best profit I would want, obviously I would want this card for 35, right? That's that's what I would want it for. 35k, I sell it, I make 10k profit. That's beautiful, right? 10k is beautiful. But now I'm realistic. I know me getting it for 35 is hard what i'm gonna do is actually try to get it for 40 i told you guys in the bid video if you never watched that you want to bid your max my max is going to be 40 because that's still 5k profit and what i'm actually going to do is maybe someone already bid 40k i'm going to bid a little higher than that and it's not even the highest bid so that means people already know somebody bid on this new that this was a good investment good for their team or whatever the case may be now if i just want this card for my team 44k is still cheaper than the 53 it's going for so i can jump this up as well and you guys saw that it jumped up right away that means nobody bid on it so make sure you're watching that bid video to kind of understand and i should not ever be worried about bidding comes right here in my auction outcome so there's no worries i get my mt straight back no problemo but yeah guys that'll be all for today i hope i was helpful in any way shape or form i try my best to help you guys in like different ways every week this is episode four so if you missed any of the other episodes i think episode three was really good episode one was all right episode two i'm trying to get better as i go along i hope this really really was helpful because honestly no cap on me i never knew about this search option so this is pretty dope i really like this i could actually go in here and sell all my injury cards without having to swipe through and these are probably the hardest most annoying things to sell i hate selling them one by one you guys know how stacks work so if i get 20 of these that would be the best way to sell them so maybe i just wait up and try to get 20 of something and quick sell them even faster but yeah guys it's been your boy most born i will see y'all later balling out